where I'm going. Hello and welcome to Bloke on the Range and I'm up here on the Rootley Meadow above the beautiful Lake Luzerne for the 84th Rootley Pistola Schießen, uh, one of the few historical matches that still goes on in Switzerland and it celebrates the founding of the Swiss Confederacy. Confederacy? Confederation? Let's not get that one wrong. Um, now, uh, basically, the, the uh, part of the founding myth of Switzerland is that up here in 1291, uh, the, uh, the, the, the three confederates from the original three uh, Swiss cantons came and swore an oath to kick the crap out of the Habsburgs and uh, Habsburgs and get them get rid of them and uh, yeah it's such a it's such a key part of the Swiss founding myth that uh, in 1940 after the fall of France General Guizon brought all all of the high-ranking Swiss officers here just odd to the metal meadow over there uh, and held what's known as the Rutli Rede which was a speech, the text of which has not survived, uh, basically um, to, to stiffen the resolve with, uh, in regards to the changed situation, because uh, once France had fallen, uh, yeah, uh, let's not go into the whole pan-Germanism thing here, but um, Switzerland was uh, very much potentially next on the line in, on the chopping block. And uh, we now know with hindsight that uh, that, that didn't happen, uh, but it was, a, uh, it was a good stiffener. Now, of course, the obvious problem with putting all of the high-ranking officers of the entire army on a boat and sailing it over here when you're within air power range of Germany, uh, where Germany is your potential enemy, is, yeah, that could have gone terribly, terribly wrong, but it didn't. Anyway, back to the shooting today. Um, I'm shooting my SIG P210 as usual. Uh, we are shooting three shots in um, one minute, six shots in two minutes, and six shots again in an incredibly fast one minute on a very evil version of the uh, Swiss figure target, where instead of a 20 centimeter five ring, it's a 10 centimeter five ring, that's four inches. We're shooting at 50 meters, which is about 55 yards. Um, you gotta be good. I'm not. We're going to see how this goes. I haven't had a chance to practice, um, <laughs> so this could be quite interesting. And there's no sighters as well. So to score well, you've got to be bang on, if you'll excuse the pun, right from the start. I'm here with the uh, Stadtschutz und Thun, with uh, friends Buddy and Ramon and others who you may or may not remember from the channel. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes. Moments later. So I'm on 39 and Buddy's on 40. So, ah shit. Buddy gets a four, another four, and a three. All high left. I get amazing five a four oh and a three. Ooh, so one was terrible oh well
So Booty has a five, a four, a four, a four, a three, and another three. And I have five in the middle, another five. Another five. Die Spitze von der Ablösung 19 können sich hinter der Abschranke bereithalten. Four, high. Oh, and a two off the bottom. Schützen auf der Scheibe 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I think either of us did too well there, buddy. No good. No oh well. Good. It happens. So that was a bit of a change of pace from all the brutality and other practical matches I've been doing lately, including one yesterday even that I wasn't allowed to film, but uh, yeah, them's the breaks. So um, overall I scored 59 out of a highest possible 75, which is not great, not terrible. Actually, it's not too bad, but it's always fun to come to these um, historical matches where they, uh, they score by waving wands and you just have the, the, the guns out and uh, just don't touch them while, uh, while the people are doing the scoring. And yeah, it's an awfully long way and an awful lot of expense to come just to fire uh, a few rounds, but it's always a good learning experience. And the, uh, the big takeaway from this is knowing where your gun shoots with the ammunition you're going to be using. I mean, my P210, I know exactly where it shoots with the Swiss service ammo. Uh, various commercial ammo shoot in slightly different places. Uh, but yeah, didn't get practice, didn't get any sighted, but I was more or less on, which is cool. So I hope you enjoyed that little video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks to patrons for uh, supporting us and keeping the, uh, the channel ticking over in these easily demonetizable times. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, there's a link in the, uh, description and there's a link at the end so uh, thank you so much and uh, see you again sometime bye